and Fletcher Brown, another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. <laughs> Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, by way of <laughs> Dallas, Texas, please welcome Jenna Gentry. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So now, you come from a long line of musicians, is that correct? Kind of. It's <laughs> <laughs> very famous background mm -hmm. now. I, my parents actually can't sing a lick, but my grandfather on my dad's side was a crooner in a band, and my gr or grandfather on my mom's side was a opera singer, mm -hmm. so I kind of skipped a generation. Well, okay, so from crooning and opera, um, now you're originally from Dallas, Texas, right? Yes. All right, crooning and opera, um, what led you from that musical heritage and that musical background to, you know, to swing country? Yeah, I think just growing up always around music, my, both my parents were from New York, but were country music lovers too, and... Just being in Texas, I think you have to, you have it in your blood. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. So it's like, um, well, you're growing up in Texas now. Uh, you're obviously a songwriter, you're a lyricist, you know, you've written uh, a great number of the songs that you've got on your debut album here. Yes. Um, you said, but your songwriting career, well, your lyric career began at a very, very early age writing poetry. <laughs> is that correct? Yes. I started writing poetry when I was really young. I had my first poem published when I was five years old. So mm -hmm. kind of always did creative writing through school and then kind of put two and two together, singing and writing and started songwriting. Well, so, so at what age did that, you know, sort of that evolution take place? Was it high school, maybe just after yeah, high school? Yeah, uh, towards the end of high school, I really started getting into songwriting. Mm -hmm. So I've always sang my entire life, but songwriting started probably high school. Okay, and then and when did that point, did you say, it's like, you know, did you come out of high school and say, I'm going to go to college and get a degree in microbiology <laughs> and maybe sing a little and to work my way through college? Or did you just say, you know what, I'm going to Nashville and I'm going to be a star? No, actually, my parents made me go to college. I promised them I'd get an education. So I went to SMU and got a, two degrees in advertising in Spanish. And then the second I graduated, I'm, I'm off. So I recorded my album that summer, and I did it kind of on the side in college. But as soon as I graduated, that's when it was full force. Music. Now, you kind, of have a, you kind of have a unique take on how you want this whole process to work out. You're kind of on that, it's, you know, I'm going to do this all myself. I'm going to be involved mm -hmm. in 100% of my career and what I'm doing, you know, the production of the... Uh, of the album, you know, the songwriting, the traveling, and all this other stuff. Um, yes. Why is that? Why Why do you feel that, you know, you just, you, you need to be able to, you know, control all of that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. It's hard to juggle these things, but I feel like at the end of the day, no one wants it more than I do. So I like to be involved in everything and make sure it's going how I want it to. So you're basically cracking the whip on guys like Chris over <laughs> exactly. here. You know, you're the, you're the one lead. It's like, you, know, you get in the car, you're like, no, I'm driving to, you know, Kicks 96 Countries. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I made him yeah. drive today. Mm -hmm. But well, now, okay, so when you get to Nashville, you leave Dallas, you get to Nashville, and you've said, I'm, I'm, this is, this is going to be on my terms, I'm going to do this my way, I'm writing my songs, and I'm going to have all of this, um, all this creative control in my career, which of course is very, very admirable. Right, Who you. did you meet first that works well with you and your desire to control your career the way you Yeah, do? I think I'm really lucky because I have an amazing team. I work with Kevin DeClue, who's my co-writer and one of my producers, one of my other producers, Mark Moffat, who's out in Nashville and just I've been collecting these amazing people along the way my radio promo team Chris so I just have a good group of people around me that all believe in it and all hard workers so all right and so you you had like you know great experiences you know and now you've got your debut album yes and your debut single is love and lazy that's one that you wrote co-wrote yes I wrote that one with Kevin DeClue and yeah, that's the first single. Okay, so talk to us about Love and Lazy. Now, that's about a relationship. It's not about like, yes. just I really dig sitting around on the couch watching, <laughs> you know, old Brady Bunch reruns and eating Cheetos. That's not that's not that kind of lazy. It's about a relationship. Right. Tell us what, what's the song about. Um, it's about kind of someone getting complacent in the relationship and just kind of starting to love lazy, not showing you as much attention, kind of getting to that comfortable, oh. boring stage. She's been talking no. to my ex-wife. <laughs> You know, it's you know it's bad when you're sitting at a bar and some guy hits on you and your boyfriend doesn't care. So that's that's love and lazy. That's horrible. That's <laughs> he should that's... be throwing him out back. So okay, I suddenly feel really bad about myself. But um, uh -oh. the the single is actually available. You can can you download it like on iTunes? Yeah, yeah. you can get it on iTunes, and we've been going around the country promoting it to radio, so you can call into your local station Absolutely. right here. We've got it. You can call. We got it. Right call it right here. We'll play it for you. No problem. <laughs> So, all right, if listeners want to get a chance to learn more about you and learn more about your music and get your album, mm -hmm. they find you on, online at jennagentry.com, Yes, right? Gentry with a J. That's Gentry with a J. I was going to say that. You read <laughs> yeah, my mind. I was going to say that. What about social media? Do you tweet? And... Oh, yes. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Jenna Gentry or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Jenna Gentry. So I'm all on there. Absolutely. Always tweeting, always Facebooking. And so. <laughs> look for her live performance of her single, Love and Lazy, right here at kicks96country.com. Now, Jenna, we want to say thank you so much for coming down here. Thanks and, for having me. And you make sure that you drive Chris back down here again soon. You know, <laughs> we know that he really doesn't have anything to do. Yeah. <laughs>
Nothing. Yeah, I'll so get him back here, don't worry. She's driving. <laughs> yeah, she might make you walk home if you're not nice to me. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> Jenna Gentry at kicksnice.com. You want to hear the single Love and Lazy? You make sure you call us at Kicks96. We'll be happy to play it for you. Thanks for visiting, okay? Thank you. Thanks and make sure you come back. I would love to. All right. We'll see you again next time. Another artist video blog here at kicks96country.com.